What is the scariest smell? Oh. Oh. oh yeah. Hang, Hang on, on for the loop. loop. Oh. Ugh, that's horrible. Three, two, one. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. And take it from us, fear stinks. Mm -hmm. Did you know that scientists believe that rats, earthworms, fruit flies, and deer can smell fear? Wait, deers can smell fear? That's clear. Get out of here! Mm -hmm, I know, but the jury is still out on whether or not humans can smell fear. But whether we can smell it or not, we know what fear feels like. Yes, from the fear of the dark to the fear of public spaces, we're all afraid of something. Jamie, I hope you don't have ladillophobia. What's that? Fear toys! <gasps> oh. What do you worry about, Shorty? Well, there's uh, some things I've seen falling from the sky before, and they're kind of shaped like this. Whoa. They keep taking my friends away. <gasps> well, now I'm worried about that, too. That's terrible. I don't know what they are. What about you? Uh, what am I? Well... It's kind of weird, but it, it feels like everyone at my school is taking karate in town to some kind of place, and I'm the only one who's not doing it. Every time a rumble starts, I feel so helpless. I worry about absolutely everything. The next day, yesterday, where I am at the present moment, it's, it's all a blur for me. Uh, well, you know, I kind of I kinda just live in fear all the time, because if I'm looking forward, I'm really looking side to side, and so I can't, I can't see what's... Ooh. There's a cow. Uh, what do, what do, what do I worry about? It's definitely not, definitely, de whoa, hey, sorry, cut a little, cut a little breeze there. <laughs> a little windy up here. What do I uh, worry about? Birds, actually, large birds. You ever seen an albatross the size of a truck? I get nervous about where I'm going, because really I need to kind of swim sideways, so then I just end up spinning in circles. Yeah, and I've got a bunch of stomachs. You ever seen an eagle in a tuxedo? Terrifying. One fear I've got is I'm often asked to change my little brother's diapers and I just don't want to do it. I don't know what's in there. So I just try to avoid it most of the time. I'd say my worst nightmare is that I just, I, I'm surrounded by snakes. Snakes scare me, I don't like them. Well, as an old man, I think my worst nightmare is my yard and kids and yard kids. Mm, get Ooh. the yard kids out of uh, here. Get them out, over That's there. That's my yard, that's your yard. Great question, how do I deal with fear? Uh, I like to, okay, hang on, let, let me uh, set this up a little bit. I like to um, drop in to a situation. And get, <laughs> do, you get, do you get it? I was, I was up here and then I dropped in to a situation. I just like to jump in with both feet if you uh, catch my drift. My biggest nightmare is what? Soggy bread. It's so- no. <gasps> Got you. Scared you. <laughs> scared you too. I'm jump scared Jimmy. I'm the king of the jump scares. You never know when I'm gonna show up next. Hey guys, today we're talking about fear. What's your biggest fear? When I was younger, I had such scary nightmares. They terrified me. And what made it worse is that then I ended up being scared of sleeping, which really is not healthy for a young kid. There are different kinds of fears that we encounter in life. For example, that fear of my nightmares and of sleeping <laughs> was a fear of something that wasn't real. That was something that was in my subconscious. It wasn't in the real world, right? There's other fears that are kind of like warnings, like when you're swimming in the ocean and there's a jellyfish, and you know if you touch the jellyfish, it's gonna sting you, so you need to get away. And that's a good fear. That, that helps you and it helps warn you of something that you shouldn't be doing or you shouldn't be near. In the Bible, there are so many times when it says, fear not. Now, it doesn't mean you're never gonna fear, and also does definitely does not mean that it's bad to fear. Fearing is sadly part of our human nature. We are human, we are flesh. There will always be something that we're kind of scared of. That's normal, that's not bad, that's not wrong. However, oftentimes in the Bible, when it says fear not, it's always ended with, for I am with you. It's God saying, you will fear, there will be scary things in life, but I am with you, and that makes the difference. When I was younger and all my nightmares seemed so scary, I would stay awake and I would think about them and they would got even scarier. They kept getting scarier and scarier and they kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and all of a sudden God seemed so small and my fear and my, my, my nightmares seemed so large and bigger than God, which is wrong. 
this is the wrong part in fear. If we continue to meditate on it, it ends up being so much bigger and we lose sight of the God who's with us and helping us and there to hold us when we're scared. 2 Timothy 1, 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I was reminded of this back when I was dealing with my nightmares. So I started praying before I went to sleep. And you know what was amazing? Is my nightmares went away. By meditating on God and realizing how big He is, I got to realize that my fears were shrinking and they got smaller and smaller. And all of a sudden, they didn't matter anymore and it wasn't scary. I kept praying and you know what happened? I got closer and closer to God because I kept praying before I went to sleep. It makes me think of the verse from 1 Peter 5, 7. Whenever you're scared, just give it all to God because He is there waiting to be with you. I'm pretty worried about the challenges this month. Yeah, when we talk about fear, Loop Show doesn't mess around. My armpit sweat is off the chart. <laughs> ah! Whoa. Okay, it's just mystery hand. All right. This is All right. Here. Okay, thank you. Can you guess the correct term for what people are afraid of? Guess the phobia by throwing your dart at the answer. Closest to the correct answer will get a calming smell, nice, while the other person gets a frightening fragrance. And beware, the nightmare zone. If you land a dart in there or off the board, the surprise will be rotten. It's the return of the Who Darted Challenge. No. And this time it's a nightmare on Smell Street. I really wish that I'd practiced darting. I wish. The art of dart. We're gonna throw dart to the board! Yay! Okay, what is our first fear that we are trying to identify? It is. Pod. Oh, now I'm also doing this upside down. Podophobia. Podophobia. Okay, I think it is, I'm gonna say, it's either worm or butterfly. I think it's butterfly because uh, they make little pods. The cocoons. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with... No! Oh, wait, wait. Why? Okay, I'm gonna go with worm for some reason. I think that it's worm. <laughs> I'm terrified to throw the dart. Because that is, your, you do have a fear of worms. I do, yeah. Pod, pod. Yeah, I'm gonna go with worm. Go. Oh, I got foot. Well, hey, that's not, that's not bad. I mean, it could be foot. Scolaseptophobia. Scolaseptophobia. Okay, skull kind of looks like, or sounds like skull. So I'm gonna go with the beard, because um, it grows on your chin. <laughs> I know that that doesn't make sense. Okay, I got butter. Well, at least it's not fresh nightmare. So, uh, cool, cool. There's at least that. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna guess that has to do with feet. Next one. La pit. Whoa. I can't do it upside down. Through every letter at this one. La oh, lepidopterophobia. Lepidopterophobia. <laughs> I Le actually think that that might be worm. Yeah. Worm, yeah. not fresh nightmare. Worm, not fresh nightmare. Go high! Oh, no! Worm bucket! <laughs> no! So I'm gonna try to do worm, but all mine keep going down. Hey! Ah! Hey! Woohoo! I mean, it might not be this, but I'm still excited that it didn't go off. Pogonophobia. 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 Pog. I feel like maybe that one could be butterfly. Pog. It helps if you repeat it. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Fresh okay, aim. Oh. Ah! Good, you made it. I'm gonna go for the beard as well. Okay. My goodness, please. Right? Ah! No, okay. You did it. Great. Oof. Well, we'll see. They're gonna tally up the score, and we are going to find out who won via smell. So. Big stuff, tiny book. Let's talk about how to stay calm when fear shows up. Fear, worry, and dread, and all those fun things. Do these words stress you out? Have you ever felt tackled by fear? When you're stressed and messed and you confess that you're not at your best, here are some tiny book tips to help you stay calm. Tip number one, breathe. Good, deep breathing gets oxygen back in your blood after your adrenaline spikes. The quickest way to calm is through your lungs. Practice right now. Take a deep breath and hold for four seconds. <sighs> now 
Now let that breath go for four, three, two, one. When you're stressed, don't forget to breathe. Tip number two, relax. Drop your shoulders and relax your jaw. Release the pressure, drop and relax. Tip number three, pray. Be present in the moment with prayer. When you're scared, don't be afraid to talk to God, focusing on a truth that centers you. A great one is 1 Peter 5, 7, which says, give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you. Tip number four, prepare. When it's all said and done, go back and see what set you off. Is there a way to prep for next time? How could you be better prepared? This will build up your confidence for the next time that you face your fears. One last thing, be aware of your level of fear on a normal day. If it seems like you're constantly full of fear and it impacts your life, talk to someone you trust. If you can't find calm, let God know. And then let someone else know too. Breathe, relax, pray, prepare. When fear shows up, stay calm. You've got this because God's got you. Well, here we are with our smell shelves strapped right to our faces so that we can't escape anything. Even if we wanted to, we couldn't escape these smells. Welcome, Jamie. This is what you missed out on. Yes. Ooh, they forgot about osmophobia, the fear of smells. Oh, yes. Okay, well, we're about to find out if I have osmophobia. Let's bring out them smells. Woo! All right, guys, we have first one is potophobia, and that was feet. Jamie, you <gasps> won that one. Yay! Jamie, you get lavender. Ooh, thank and you. And Ricky, you get clams. Oh. Oh, mine smells really good. Mine, that's it. All right, guys, second round. Scolosiphobia was worms. Ricky, you won that one. Oh, uh, yay. Oh, you okay. get lavender, and Jamie, Ooh. you get cat food. Oh, uh, that is delightful. Oh, uh, mm. that smells like clams, too. Mm. Oh, it's horrible. Well, you know, cats love clams. That's a famous fact about cats. Oh. Okay, mm. round three. Lepidophertobia was butterfly. Oh. Jamie, you got that one right. Oh, God, I couldn't remember. Jamie, you get lavender, oh. and Ricky, you get a wet fart. A what? Ah, that's disgusting. Oh, who captured this smell? What makes it, oh. I wanna, I'm curious. No, you don't! Am I not? Stay far away, Jamie! Precisely, exactly like a wet oh. fart. All right, guys, round four. Pogonophobia is beards. <laughs> you get lavender, and Jamie, you get vomit. Oh, no. oh, come on! Now it just smells like someone had a wet fart and they just tried to spray it with lavender. <laughs> I'm smelling both. <laughs> I'm this smelling straight both. Up smells like vomit, like straight up. Someone bottled that, sold it. It's horrible. All right, what's in that vomit? Well, we got some some potatoes or um, some corn. Or... I think we have thrown up cat food. Oh, yeah. That oh, maybe right. it's because I still have cat food on here. You think it's over, Ricky, but you got Fresh Nightmare twice. <gasps> oh, no. You get two strips of Fresh Nightmare. <gasps> what is it? I gag. Oh, did you really? <laughs> Is it the vomit? Did they give you vomit? Oh. Okay. Do we it's need a, trash cans? No, it's a combination. It's a vomit. Oh. It's a vomit. Oh. I'm oh. so sorry. <sighs> yeah, don't breathe it in. <clears throat> My nose. Should I just say? It's furious. Should I just say, enjoy the ride really fast and then maybe they'll end the episode? So, uh, that usually is what happens. Oh, Jamie. It's like the magic password. And just Imagine. Blast. Worried about everything? Trade your trembling for truth. God loves you. Instead of asking, what am I afraid of? Ask, what am I made of? What if you're braver than you thought? When fear gets severe, you can trust that God cares for you. You can stay calm and say, I've got this because God's got me. 
Stay calm, stay cool, stay curious. I'm just breathing in all the fresh air. <sighs> My uh, nostrils are very upset. Ooh, calming breaths, calming mm. breaths. Fear isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes it's a helpful indication that we need to find safety. But if you find yourself worrying about every little thing... Remember that God says fear not, he's got you. When your fear gets severe... When your fear stinks... You can handle it. Stay calm, stay cool, stay curious. You've got this because God's got you. Smell you later. Enjoy, Enjoy the ride. ride! I really think that we should like light some candles or something. Yeah, it smells like nightmares. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. All right, so how did this Who Darted Challenge compare to the first Who Darted Challenge? Jamie, it's like comparing apples to oranges. Terribly mm -hmm. smelling apples and terribly smelling oranges. Mm. Different smells, they're all terrible. In fact, if you want to watch it, Jamie, mm -hmm. you can check it out right here. Hey, I just might. All right, Loopsters, what is the grossest thing that you've ever smelled? Leave it in the comments. See you there.